we were just following our budget. It's the biggest advantage of plywood. If you cannot afford really big budget, probably the best solution is to do it out of plywood. If you look to this wall, actually it's kind of box. It's everything. It's a piece of furniture. It's a space where you can slide your furniture underneath. It's a functional space that allow to relocate the kitchen because all pipes, all waste pipes and gas lines is underneath. And it's a huge storage underneath because we have this table and when we just having breakfast or dinner, when we just two, it's very easy to, to relocate this table. Like let's say if, if we have just four guests, we can do like for four people and we, when we really have a lot of guests, we can relocate it somewhere in the middle and there are two benches underneath. You can see how easy you can actually do it. You take this bench, slide it over here, then you take another bench. I'm not big fan of all the Murphy bed or furniture because I think they not allow you to do it really easy and really fast. And you have place ready for, for eight or even, even, even ten, like that's why we have this little other chairs. Oops. And yes, it's like four people on each side on a bench and two people on a short side and it takes like 20 seconds or something. If you look to this plywood box, you see that there are two paths. One leads to main part of the apartment and another one leads to that rising level, which is my office. What I really was trying to do is include that window and that light from that part became part of a living room, which makes this living room containing three windows instead of just two. So this room, it became easy transformed to private room or became part of the same area, the same living room. So how to accommodate, how to work with both different heights, uh, table heights and this rising level heights. We have certain standards for the tables, right? Your dining table cannot be higher, it cannot be lower because your chair which you buy, the benches, whatever. But at the same time, we have window over there. We cannot go higher than window level. But if we keep table heights and then we need a slab because there is a floor over there, we definitely will go over that window heights without any doubt. So what I did actually is, this is my office and I need some room for, for guests. What I did, I created this bed and I raised a little more than one third, a little less than a half of this room, this bed, because this is actually allow me to, to keep table heights within standards. That would be the table? Yes. Yeah. Table, goes table right exactly. The heights of the bed allow that table slide directly underneath without having any issues. So this is bigger advantage of plywood. All of these doors and shelves and cabinets, everything made on the side. The idea here was we both work it from home. My wife, she's a designer, I'm an architect. So the idea was to find a place for us where we can with gut renovation, with uh, pretty big renovation, which we can convert to get three separate rooms. This is the main bedroom, all custom made. The whole apartment is less than 700 square feet. And we have living room, kitchen, and we have three bedrooms. This is my wife's room, she is designer and artist. That's why both of us need our room. If she has a guest, when her mom is visiting, it became her guest's guest room. And again, there is another storage space over here. And there is a little guy over here, which holds it. Simple, but it works. Stuff. That's why I'm not that fan of Murphy bed, because they produce nice structures now. But what you do, you need somehow to fix it, or it slides down and... I prefer to keep pillow and other stuff separate. So when she needs to increase her walking horizontal surface or 
if she need like more more room over there for canvas when she need a space for easel or for canvas we're working with a pretty tight dimension here and this is all just the back side of your office it's just the back side it's, if you do section there is a beams going over here and that bed which we just saw it's finishing here and the level of that floor in that room is right here so this is how we got some extra room and because that table shorter than length of the room we got some extra space and we got some extra storage what we have here it's right next to the entrance is a sort of clock room and i really like this little shelves which allow you to keep key it's the biggest advantage of plywood it's a pretty affordable material and this is what you can easily cut because you don't have to care about ages because plywood always look good the, if you if you make it cut nice then you polish it a little bit mm -hmm. it will look good and you built all this <laughs> yeah yeah but uh, actually my father helps me a lot and he yeah yeah he is really good carpenter and if not him i would never did it <laughs> because you know it's really yeah. it's really complicated high skill scene is how to make a long straight cut of plywood this is most complicated we don't have table saw even you know because it, it's so expensive we use regular saw but plywood it's a pretty affordable material and you can easily cut mostly by your hand or if you're not that experienced you can cut it somewhere else this is how you can save your budget if you can go with it then you can make certain shapes and you can use as much space as you can because you know like when we start working about mass production no one will take care about like six inches here four inches here you know it's too complicated but like for example here because of depth of that cabinet and uh, enough le length for the mattress for the bed area i can get a little shelves over here like if you order it somewhere prefabricated I cannot imagine how much it would cost. The main technical concept behind this idea is to relocate the kitchen. Because we raised a room which is in the middle of the apartment, that allows us to install all piping, all waste pipe, all gas line. If you cut the section through this wall, you'll see that it's pretty dense. Like we have a breakfast table, then we have a pass. It's pretty tight, but at the same time, it's enough like when one person is cooking because it's passed through kitchen. It's not like separate room. And also like when we have guests and we don't need this extra table, what we can do is just to fold it down and you can take this out. Same with these chairs. And it's became more wide, of course. It's, uh, this is exactly four feet wide. And it's very easy. A hardware is a stainless steel which they use in yacht. And it's allowed, the total weight of it is 300 pounds. So like two pretty fat people can... People actually surprised that, I mean, like when they see it first time, they don't feel like comfortable, but uh, like two people can sit here because each side has three anchors and each anchor is about six inches going through the load-bearing brick wall. So it's tight. It's just uh, another level. So the idea here was to keep the same height. If you look, this table is more about to help you when you're cooking. We add these shelves later on because if you put something on this table, it's, it's already pretty narrow. So whatever you put will eat your, eat your space. So we added these two very simple shelves. It's really, this is a minimum what you can do. Like if you look to these kitchens, it's simple, it's very simple. By look, but look into the age, how much space do we have. Like for example, to slide this refrigerator in that particular width, you have to unscrew these light switchers. It's so tight. Despite it looks simple, it's pretty custom made. So what I did actually is, if you look here, the kitchen is right underneath, right? So here we're talking about really small spaces. This room is like eight by seven feet. Mm -hmm. This is a minimum dimension for the bedroom. 
So it's kind of piece of furniture, the whole room. For example, this space, it's another closet, which kind of became, I didn't plan it, but it's became kind of hidden closet because no one actually pay attention to it when you, when you came into a room and you close this door. But when you open the door, it's exactly at that area where is the closet door. So it became kind of hidden. I mean, it's enough to keep some books and, and yeah. stuff like that. So it's pretty cozy space and I really love that finishing with the plywood. It's create really nice warm feeling. And even if, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but even voice changing here because it's, it's only eight feet high. And because I use wood, actually plywood, as a finishing material, it's kind of absorb sound. If you look into this room inside and outside, it made of out of piece of plywood. It's always a question, would you like to make it most smooth and visible or you want to emphasize your structural elements? I kind of love structural element and I think they're part of design. So I didn't even try to hide them. Actually, I did opposite. I emphasize all connections. Why they are not whole, it was also another idea that if you look here, there is a lot of angles, right? I have this height, I have this length, which is bigger than piece of plywood. And I have certain heights, which is bigger than four feet, which again, bigger than sheet of plywood. So I had to find a solution, trying to cut plywood and get maximum advantage of one piece of plywood. Because if I go with whole piece, uh, then at some point I need to cut it. Opposite of the it, go with the small pieces from the beginning. Like what I did here, I have this wall, I have a dimension and I have piece of plywood. So I design all these pieces to maximize usage of each piece of plywood. I think it also happens because of that area. I used more than half of that space above the kitchen cabinets to visually and functionally as well increase this volume of this room. You're gaining like for your visual sense, right? You're gaining almost uh, more than 11 feet. Mm -hmm. Another advantage of plywood, which I really like, is the edges. Like if you're working with composite material like MDF or OSB, you cannot keep edge. The biggest advantage of plywood is that it's such a natural cut that you don't need to hide it. If you look into the edge, you make nice cut, then you polish it, do some finishing with shellac, and you find. Actually, it's a nice marble surface. If you look into it, it's really nice marble plywood. Another challenge was really try put some effort to design a table which will be made just out of one piece of plywood, wow. four by eight feet. That's great, even legs that are plywood. That's yeah, it's all plywood. The benches too, do the benches open? Yeah, yeah, you can, we can open benches. It's oh, all storage. Oh, yeah. It doesn't look that yeah, yeah. pretty. <laughs> Yeah, but, but that, that's why they were designed for, you know, like you have all your stuff and you don't know where to put it. Another little detail is this table uh, is certain heights so you can pull it a little bit underneath of the window frame. It's a small little advantage that gives you extra six, seven inches. I installed rotatable wheels on this side and same with the bench. And on the other side, the wheels are stable, they're not rotating. So that's how you can slide it easily. They kind of lead them as a train do. You have to be ready to compromise something. Oh. This is heavier. I could have done them all rotatable, but in this case, it will be much harder to slide them down. And when you pull out your table, you need to fix them to provide more stability. So there is a lock over here and the wheels is blocked and you can release it and slide down. When we just want a table for two, we have some chairs and benches is yeah, like we, when we have friends and we just want to sit around the table and talk. 
And this is more formal, like Dina for four. Or, you know, like you can take out a couple of cheers. Or another option, you can have it here. And again, like the biggest advantage, like compared to folding tables, it's much easier to, to adjust, to accommodate your needs. It's, it's very simple. Even when you draw and you need a little more space, and I draw a lot like on a bigger uh, format paper, you can just adjust it and roll down your roll of paper. You know, like my wife, she cut fabric sometime to, to design something. And it's really, it's seven feet long table. This is what you can do here. Okay, benches. Which one did I? The function of that wheels were designed to allow me slide the perpendicular. Slide. This is a little bit. You can rotate it over here. Yeah. yeah. It's a little bit, you know, like again, there is no perfect solution. You need to, to be ready. Yeah. When you're trying to do something simple and you try to to, to accommodate, to follow your budget, uh, then you have to be more compromised and more creative, like simultaneously. Oops. 